one through ten, like, a, like an out of ten score for like how good it was, what would you give it? I would say a seven. It's like a good game, but it's held back by certain quirks. I feel like it's held back a lot by the limits of RPG Maker, which is why for this one, he, the creator Mason Lindoff ditched RPG Maker entirely and used a professional software. Yeah. I can already tell that. That, like... Is that Wayne? What the hell? I'm gonna stay silent for a lot of this intro. He looks like an old DOS game. <laughs> okay, I can jump. Okay, what the? I used to move with the arrow keys, it looks like. <laughs> okay. Oh, this is almost surreal going from the first game. Yeah. Okay, Wayne, Wayne Jr. I guess. Go down the stairs. Oh, hi, Wayne Sr. I heard the TV shows. It's weird that Wayne's still like a sprite, though. That's well, interesting. I think, yeah, because I think the, the way that I think Mason Lindorf makes all the sprites, that he like he models them in clay, like IRL, and then uses some program to like turn it into a sprite. That's what he did with the first game, and I think he just does a better version of that for this game. And probably for, for whatever the next installment is. Yeah, they are sprites because their lighting doesn't change. Oh, yeah, that is... Oh, the changes may be a little bit. But I think that's just a new sprite popping in. But yeah, you no longer need to die to go to the afterlife. Uh, okay, so these things bring me to the afterlife. Just sink in? Okay. Yeah, and they're also like fast travels. By the way, the little things you see crawling on the ground, I think those are referred to as Wayne Larva. Okay, just because this game's, like, actually pretty now, kind of, like, in its own weird way, it's it's so much more surreal than the first game, like, when the world actually is, like, modeled and visual. What the hell? Backwards long jump up the staircase. Or spite from bad assassins. I'm having a bad status right now. <laughs> it's interesting that he floats. Yeah, I think that that's like like uh, like like more movement based stuff in this game for traversing the map. I think if you wanna. Also, then you want to go back just sink into the, just sink into the ocean. What the fuck? Or maybe that. Okay, this is oh. our fast travel guy. We head back to Wayne House. So, also, this is after Hilux 1, right? It's not a prequel? Yes, this takes place afterwards. I'm using this one drone, okay. Okay, that's the meat storage. And this brings me... Okay, so the... Okay. Okay. 
Okay, I guess back to Wayne House. This is funky. Also, I like the you see how when you jump there's the little circle beneath you? That's just to show you where show you where you were going to land. I don't think that was in like the first like the first release of this. And uh Mason Landers specifically added to people were saying they it was they were having a hard time figuring out where they were gonna land. Yeah, and that, and that's going to what I said about how the sprites aren't really lit. The or they only have the lighting of whatever they were originally taken in. Yeah, uh... Oh, you can actually change your outfit, by the way. I think in the mirror in your room. I think most people those are the class in, like, leather Wayne garb. Yeah, so why are there so many Waynes? Because it's implied that Wayne is actually a hive mind. And that, like, the way Wayne itself is a species. Huh. Where's old Wayne on the roof? Yeah. Yep. Fun fact, this team is originally going to have a completely different cast of characters. Instead of Wayne, you're going to play as a female-ish version named Decress. And uh, you're going to be a completely different party, but Mason decided to scrap it because he remembered that um, in other games that did the same thing, he wasn't really a fan of the concept. And that's old Wayne. The stars forecast a flourishing of prescribed gestures. Gibby's agents will work to reconstitute their master. Proceed west and seek our old ally, Blero. Blero? Blero. Blero. He may want to be forewarned. Alas, the the others haven't completed their training, so you will go alone. Some people theorize that Old Wayne is actually Wayne from the first game, but it's never really confirmed. I mean, that's what I'm gathering from this, because Wayne's on his own in the first game, so I'm wondering if this is him just establishing a colony. Like, My if we saw other Waynes in the first game, I would say, oh, this could be any of them, but... My, my personal theory is that this is the same Wayne, and that at some point this Wayne just left Wayne House to, like, strike out on his own, and then after the events, he came back. Amelia, you'll notice the music is a lot better in this game. Yeah, and then... Bush. Oh, uh, by the way, um, fun fact that adds a little bit of to, to the Wayne lore. Um, after this, um, little, I think, like, either this year or last year, um, the main composer for this game, Chuck Salamone, released an album, released an, uh, an official Highlight 2 OST that also included four new songs, each as a main theme for one of the four cat main party members. It's the same four members of the first game. Wayne's theme is called An Endless Cycle. Huh, because he dies and comes back over and over again? Is that, but it may also be referenced to the, because, what if they read that you saw the little Wayne larva things? Mm -hmm. It says that those turn into the normal Wayne, and the normal Wayne eventually turn into something like old Wayne, and then those could, like, die and come back as a larva or something. Hmm. It's not only does do Wayne and those die and come back to life, but they never die of old age either. They they rebirth as a new larva. It also could be because of the whole moon cycle thing. That is that is also theory. Those who so possess yeah. the oh, fuck this game. Okay, this is the only thing that bugs me about uh <laughs> metaphor. New metaphor. By the way, the this game's writing is a lot clearer. May cross the sea north. Okay. This game's choice of words is so batshit. This is, uh, been mentioning this game, they had a thesaurus shoved up their ass. I think they just made shit up as they went. I... Yeah. <laughs> like, there are root words used here, they are, but they are not originally words. Yeah. There was a theory that Highlights 1 that the reason everybody made no sense on Highlights 1 was due to Jimmy's control. And there's a point in this game that basically confirms that, but I'm not going to say what it is. Unrelated, but I've recently discovered that fucking, um, Lay's oven baked potato chips are absolutely amazing. You, uh, you ever had Lay's oven baked potato chips? 
No. Are those enemies? This fight? They, are... they are. Wow, that's a lot of enemies. Listen to the battle theme for a sec. Uh, so don't go there yet. I thought it said to go west, but I think you went like northwest. Dude, I fucking love the battle team in this game. I have to listen to this so much. I listen to also this entire game soundtrack is really good. I think Mason and Chuck meant at some sort of met, uh, like, I think they're related, like, somehow, like, really weirdly. I'm gonna use the bathroom real quick, my stomach isn't feeling right. Is there a way I can, like, sink faster? God, everything's so much smoother in this game. It is night and day with the first game. But shit, do, do I still need to... Okay, my health is fine. That was something I didn't really like about the first game was... Being revived, you didn't have all of your health back. You had to, like, rest in the afterlife. Oh, wait, there's a fucking roll. That's what they were trying to tell me. Oh, I wonder if I was just supposed to roll out of combat. Another that just the ocean. Wait, is there like a oh wait, what the fuck? Welcome to new moldal behold splendor. Oh, that's run. That's there's a lot of controls here that were not listed. Okay. I guess you have to use that. Does this game use? Oh, this game does use controller. That might be a little easier. Okay, I'm gonna use controller from here on out. my currency it all comes down to the thoughtful use of consumer cosmetic cuts if you meet pool man burning is effective so if I have fire damage okay god this is This is way better built for controller. They're doing big excavations southeast. 
I tried to get closer. Uh, to get a closer look, but it was savagely wanted by the Galliforms. Okay, so what they want you... Okay, I get it. I think. Try that again. Uh, I, I'm also just kind of stalling for Carter to get back, but it's part of the reason I'm okay with dying a bunch on stupid shit. But that doesn't affect my. That doesn't affect my health. Okay. Am I too far forward, or too far back? Actually, some okay control. If you ignore the stilted nature of the sprites, it does. It actually does control a bit like a platformer. I don't know what the deal with the controls are, though. I also don't know really where I'm supposed to go, which is part of the reason I'm doing that jump so much. A lot of happens so suddenly. If I wax his ropes, I'm ducked at the cafe over. Without the coffee, we'll be defenseless against spores. Gothamite <sighs> husbandry has brought, husbandry has brought us uh, uh, prosperity, but it also made us a target for, uh, for opportunists like the V-Wax. An impressive force field, so rounds our desert's fortress. I'd wager they've set up a warm remotely. A warm, a warm remotely for the purpose. It's how I do it. Is this water bad? No. The door's locked from inside. I definitely will say it was easier to navigate Hylix 1. That said, Hylix 2 is more fun already. Even just in the basic controls and movement. Sheep barrels are not here at the moment, I'm afraid. Feel free to go in, though. I know that view wax will betray us. A villainous slug. Serpangorma, what brings you to the new Moldo? For treacherous chair. The treacherous chair lies vacant. Lord Blairall's been abducted, taken north of Vilwax Ed Edifice. Old Wayne senses provide just gestures and sent me to warn Blairall. He must be recovered. Just so. I've sourced flesh for Fanatophores to facilitate our journey. I trust you need no instruction for the usage. I think they went over that with the Wayne House, keeping up. You may regard for now, for So I've got Pangorma. Oh shit, I was muted that whole time. How long have you been back? It's, uh, maybe like 30 seconds to a minute at most. So I, I, I was trying to voice Pangorma and I'm like, can you not hear me? None may enter the treasure room so long as I remain here. Please pick up Pangorma's voice. I was just doing it as a filler. Uh, so it will be. I, what did we make his voice? What did we make anyone's voice in the first game? I think like Pandora was like was like deep like deep voice like Black Knight sort of. 
Because uh, the best. Because uh, oh, th one of my favorite comments on the themes is that Pongorma's theme basically, it basically, this woman said like, you know, most of the other themes they really don't fucking care. But Pongorma's basically just tells you that he's like, he's just sitting there like, yeah, I just hear a kick ass. That's it. Also, every character now has a new unique gesture. So I don't think Wayne has hypnosis or anything. And and Pondorma doesn't have like the partial distract. Also, um, fair, fair warning, the Somsnosa is not nearly as broken in this game. Uh okay, I've explored that. Uh what's your deal? Eat me, oh son. Okay. Is he a reptile? I guess so. When the high flames on Frodo's, the harvest times are upon us. The fronds are obviously valuable, but it's important to trim them anyway so you don't get pool men. You know, this dialogue is clearly more coherent. That said, it still feels AI generated. <laughs> Shit. Sometimes we find them too late, and you just have to tear them out before they turn bad. You hate to see that. Also, I found there's a... I, I switched the controller. It's way easier. Mm. Like, the controls feel... Like, everything's a little bit more bunched together in, like, a logical way. Well, uh, I'm assuming you've been using that slapping move. I think if you hit enemies with that, you'll get, like, a bonus in combat or something. Your foe's symbol... Wait, 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 check what, uh, let's say, check what Wayne's gesture is first. Uh, I'll look at that. Uh, so this is Pongarma's. Uh, restores one third of flesh and grants fending status. Lightning. Stun for one turn. Proceeds to... Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Perish. But yeah, lightning is his unique one that's just, like, a much more powerful basic. Okay, this should just kill. Or not. Oh, but it stuns him if I do that. Uh, and looks dissolute status on targets, reducing their power by 20%, and damaging flesh over time. So it's basically a poison. So, yeah, it's poison, but they also deal less damage. Uh, I think I'll heal Wayne. Oh, also, make sure to go back to Wayne House to teach Pongorma the skill. Uh, he already has it. Oh. Oh, do you not have to go back to reaching people's skills? That's no, nice. I don't think so. Yeah, that is a great, that is a very good, uh, fault. Okay, let me, uh... But Dorma's not doing too good. Oh, I'm low on, okay, let me Pongorma. Fuck, no, I healed Wayne! Well, Wayne's very hardy. Uh, I think it actually shows you their HP. Eh, he can tough through it. The death. Uh, I can probably just finish him here. One cupcake, very important. I still don't know what bon Pongorma's head is supposed to be. Uh, he's wearing a helmet. I stand by my playing. <laughs> the thing is that, fun fact, they actually changed Pongorma's model slightly compared to the first game. In the first game, a lot of people thought his helmet was his head, so in the second game here, uh, Mason changed the design to basically be like, no, this is a helmet. They want, he wanted to be very clear on that. Oh, was that the house that was locked from the inside, maybe? Yeah, I think. Or, it could be any of them. We'll, we'll have to explore. I've heard this is a game. I've, I've heard the combat this has got to be, be kind of difficult. And it's like it's a game where you can't really just like just like stockpile your resources on items for big fights. Like you need to be like using skills and stuff throughout every fight. Mm. 
happens up here? <laughs> Did you see it? Like, yes. Spotted? What the fuck is this room? There's nothing to interact with here. Oh, is there supposed to be like? Oh, I wonder if we save someone and like. They appear there. Uh. Uh, okay. I was wondering if it's... Oh, dock key is what this is. So, somewhere else I'm guessing is where... Strange difference between this game and, and Highlights 1. There's grass now. <laughs> yeah. Uh, let's try... Locked from the inside, so... There was one other locked thing. I think it was here. Use that key, okay. Soul crisper. Mm, nothing lets him good, Kentucky Fried Soul. Uh, the target is afflicted with burning for two seconds, causing reoccurring flesh damage and reducing flesh gain. Oh, so that's also an anti healing thing. Yeah. Uh. That was one of my things in Pokemon was that I was always like, why, like, unless it's toxic, why would I ever poison, en poison an enemy over burning? Like, in Pokemon, burning also, like, has, a, like, has an attack. Uh, there's also. Oh, here's a button to... Also, you never played Legends Arceus, right? They actually changed the sleep and, uh, and PP status condition in that game. Huh. I can't remember how exactly they changed sleep. First of all, for both of them, it's not just, like, you're fully stopped for sleep. For, the, for both of them, you only have a chance to. I don't know what else they did to sleep, but for Fleas, it also has your special attack. That, uh, go, go grind some meat? Yeah, that's kind of what I was thinking. Grind a lot of meat, because I think I know what the game wants us to do now. Uh, What's that? Hold on, let me... Uh, I think the... So you know that enemy that one-shot us? Mm -hmm. I think that's a pool man, and they said the pool men are like, weak to fire or something like that. Oh, so now you have soul crisper. So now I think the idea is we just need to go, and, and that we've toughened up a little bit. I think the game wants us to go fight those things now that we have like a one shot attack for them. Mm. Uh, though I'm just kind of guessing based on context moves, and I don't know what else to do. And I also said the dock key is needed, and this is like closer to a dock. I don't think those the enemies over, over there. Over there. I don't, I'm not sure if there's a pool, man. They're gonna try in any case. If nothing else, you can just use perish. Yeah. Oh, in this game, it's like, no, you can't run from battle. You can die, though. Well, you have the roll. You have... The roll thing. Well, I mean, you can't run from battle. So, let's see... Might have moved in. Try, try hitting them with the slap. Uh, I want to explore this area a little bit in case there's items. That's fair. There's a hole. Banana! <laughs> Potassium. Potassium. Uh, would you want to play Deltarune Chapter 3 when it comes out? Uh, sure. I don't think I've quite finished Chapter 2. I keep meaning. Like I saw, like I seen almost all of it. Uh, Those are the you caught before. Really? Or they're just, they're not even enemies. Okay, that's just more of this game's style. Hey. Talk to you. Perhaps you notice the large birds outside. You know, they're drawn. Yeah, oh, oh yeah, I remember. Um, I think there's more. 
more sages than Sage. Now there's also the Sage of Televisions. Which, you know what? In Hylix, where televisions grant you magical fucking powers, I understand why there'd be, like, a mythical being attached to them. I'm putting on some cologne because you can't smell it. I can put on as much as, you, as I want. I was gonna stop you anyway. Oh, this is just the ocean. I think eventually you get like a you, you get like a you get like a move that allows you to do a straight forward sort of direction. You wanna fight them just to see if you can? Yeah, let me take on like one. That's not one. Well, a gap. Uh, it's, a, it's a galliform. So those were not full men. Okay. Uh, the Jalaports look like big chickens to me. I think they said birds, so yeah, I think they are. Yo, uh, dude, dude, wait, 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 stop! The thing next to the Gal to one of the Jalaports, the case cities. What are his animations? Damn, that is smooth as fuck. Okay, let's try burning this, you. I think this game legitimately looks, looks really nice. It reminds me of like a like, like a like a '90s album cover. Oh, it just well, regenerated. To be fair, that should be less now because of. Um, I like the animation for Accelerate. Uh, what do you think of the, what do you think of the of that battle theme? Uh, I haven't actually processed it honestly. You should next time you get into a fight, you should stop just like like love that song's called "Them's Fighting Words." <laughs> but like, yeah, you can tell this game has a much better soundtrack, right? Oh yeah, definitely. It it feels a lot like what it feels the same, but it feels like a lot less random noise also. Yeah. It definitely sounds like he listened to the first game soundtrack and was like, I can do that better. Yeah. Oh, that, like, ev it's interesting that, like, everything's walkable in this. Yeah, you can really kind of, like, hit parkour up places. I keep fucking up, though. Skill issue. Yes. There's some ground over there, right? Right off to your right? Uh, I just, I'm just trying to go up here. Where... Again, I like the fact that you no longer need to uh, relearn skills for for new party members. So we did that. Fuck, what are we doing? Like, what mines, are we... Maybe more stuff in the mines? Uh, yeah? Yeah, remember, I have not played this game or seen it played, like, fucking at all. So I'm just gonna be just as blind as you are. Okay, so that's not... Uh... Have you... Yo, yo what are these switches doing? Oh. There were switches down here. Yeah, I pressed it. Yeah, I already pressed the thing. I don't know what it does. Like, I followed the wire, that's why. I... Um... Uh, juice. Oh, they're farming juice. Oh, oh no, he's sipping the juice. 
Yeah, we gave him juice in exchange for the key that gave us. Right, yeah. Um, okay, so the cord. I don't think the cord, like, splits. Yeah, it goes here. Which is, like, out here. Did that do something out there? Uh, still walk from the inside. Did I not go somewhere? You uh, you went inside that. Is there more to like the world map? Uh, let me double check. Yeah, this is still dock here required. I haven't seen like the left of this area much. Uh, because it's just a mountain, really. Can we can still sleep on couches so we can cover HP? I don't know. Where's that guy? Uh, he doesn't let me in. Right. Uh, let me double check that couch. Uh, I'm not getting anything. Wait, jump back. What's that? There's nothing the up there. there. It's just shapes. Uh. Wait. I think I'm on or something. Uh, this doesn't seem like where we're supposed to go, but the seat lights are where we can go. Let me up there. Fucking. Fucking, how do I? Are you sure it isn't more like up? Uh. No, I can't. If I'm if I'm going left, I get stopped by something. If I if I go up, it's I'm stopped by something. You you got there early, right? Yeah. Let me try. Fucking. I don't think this is the way we're supposed to go. Yeah, but there's clearly something here. Because there's like a staircase there, and I got on it. I think you get more mobility options later, so we should explore it later. Uh, fucking go. <laughs> What's stopping me? I refuse to not get stuck on this. Ugh. What the fuck did I do? Oh, you just jumped from there. Okay, what? I think you need a different move to get up there that you don't have yet. I don't think that I don't think you can jump that gap. Pangorma, throw me. <laughs> you know what? That legitimately sounds like something Pangorma would do. I imagine he just like grabs you by the torso and throws you like a fucking football. Like Wayne's like Wayne's horn is just getting stuck in whatever Pond Gorma hits with him. Fuck, almost. I, I yeah, I think you're right. I know there's like there's like a there's like a because the there, there's there's like been two areas kind of like that where I feel like I should be in like a gap but I can't. Yeah, I yeah, and I know you get more Oops. movement. Right now. Sorry, so. I wanted to check something on another tab. Whoops. Gotcha. Uh, okay, so left side of the map. Let's go back there. There's door, there's rock. I doubt you, they want you to go here because you can't see here. Uh, go across that bridge over there. Yeah. This is not handicap accept accessible. <laughs> no, it's not. That's an ocean violation right there. Need an upper house key. Banana. I know there's more stuff to just find in the open. What's that tunnel there? That mines? There is mold. How's it going? No, no, oh, I'm. No. S I'm smold on day. 
dismal and went north across the ocean. Oh, no, no, maybe, it's, maybe it is small Monday. <laughs> Our meditation turned more practical. Bodies became superfluous. Su superfluous. That's not weird enough. I've heard that word before. I think it means like unnecessary. Superfluous? Yeah, it does. Wait, what was that about the sages bodies being buried? When the asseration buried the sages' great ship, dead as a moon. My wife and I were stranded here on surface. There was some sort of flood? Found boots? Oh shit, man. Okay, that brings us to the cave. What the fuck does this wire do? I feel like I'm missing something and I have no clue what it is. At what point do we want to look up a walkthrough, bro? Uh, I guess just keep exploring is all I can think of. Just like we've been down there, it's just the water. It's just the water. Just yeah, and there's no like branching anything or like segue area. Because you know how like sometimes it'll seem like it's a dead end, but it's like actually just the segue to a new level. Right. Uh, I think maybe there's more. Maybe there's more on the world map. Maybe we've done everything in this section for now. Uh, well, we we found the boots, so maybe there's more. And, well, I, well, I think the big thing you're supposed to do here was grab Ponforma. Yeah. Uh, Bootsville, guide us. Yes. Where's Lord Cramthorn when you need him? Uh, a hiding in Clackamas. With the black dragon firefall. Yeah. Uh, alright. Can I go? Uh, ocean. Oof. Uh, well, shit. Ocean. You want me to, like, look up a watch through one game facts? Yeah. Here, I'll have it, and then if we're still stuck after like five or so minutes, I'll tell you. Okay, I did that. And that brings me there if I try to like bypass it. Gameplay.tips. New multiplayer. No, there's no way to bypass that really. It seems. right shoulder to okay that so hold on that is so katamari like i guess we're supposed to use this somehow i'm gonna keep reading no i actually know what we're doing now okay i just okay. i just for i yeah i should have read text Glad I read that. No, I totally know what we're doing now. Oh, that's... Oh, that seems very helpful to get around. Uh, so, there is... I, I, I already kind of know the first thing we need to... Dude, imagine... Dude, imagine a platformer with this control scheme. Uh, yeah, I think we... Or I think I'm playing it. <laughs> okay, so you only get one dash. That's interesting. Well, I think you can hold it as much as you... Well, I think you can hold it yeah. in one direction. Yeah. I'm just saying, like, you can't change direction. You can't really chain them together. Infinidagger! <laughs> Infinidagger! Okay, actually, let's do the secret now that we can. Oh, yeah. Oh, it, uh, it does have a limited range. It does wear off. 
My guess is to prevent you from cheesing stuff they don't want you to, like... That's, yeah, that's fair. Uh... Fucking layers... Jesus uh, Christ, it's fast. The secret, you, you literally walked away. No, I think that's where we're supposed to go. I want to in the fucking with the couch. The in, yeah, the couch. It's in like the building where you met Farm Norma. Fuck. Is this game like immediately better than Highlights One or? I've, just for the fucking overworld controls being fun, like yes. Like, the fact that there is kind of some... There's, like, mechanics to the overworld, that's already so much more interesting. There is something kind of charming about how simple Hylix 1 is in that regard, but, like... Yeah, I think it, I think it really got down to that RPG charm. Yeah, so... And that, like, yeah, I, I think one thing about this, I think this game just makes me appreciate Hylix 1 more. Just, like, see how good this game is, but then know, knowing that, like, oh yeah, Hylix 1 was still good. Okay, hold on. Yeah, oh fuck. Ah, huh, saved it. Nice like side jump. Uh um <laughs> Alright, that's how that is working though. Okay, ceiling, roof, whatever this leads to. There's not finished look there it is. Mus oh, it's muscle. That was like, that was like the strength boost thing I know. Yeah. Right, maybe give that to Pond Warmer for his lightning. Uh, yeah. Well, I could hoard it for myself! Oh, uh. <laughs> Just give everything to Wayne. Like, it's your fucking starter Pokemon. Yes. I was gonna say, that is a poorly designed hole in the shape of it there. Okay, shop. Long gloves! Tendril hand. What does this lead to? Couch. Uh. Dubious berry. Is it like fermented? Like, how dubious are we talking? Are we talking like, like, like ghosts and goblins, or like, or like, or like man asking you to, to, to get into the back of an ice cream truck? How, yeah, how dubious is it? Uh, okay, so that that's just a shop. Okay, let me ladder away. I will keep reading the wiki real quick. Just to know where it's supposed to go, then I'll, like, give you hints. If need. Uh, okay. Oh, I can probably do some map shit now that I have this. There's probably, like, some... Oh, apparently there's a chimney somewhere you can jump into. Oh. To the ocean! Oh, by the way, you know the bug things that were in those pens? I think if you slap those with your slap move, that, that will restore your health. Huh. So there's a chimney we can get to. Is this one? Or is it something we have to like dash over to? Oh, so on the world map there's a dude who's just sitting down. Yeah. Apparently near him you can use the dash to move on the world map to defeat the dudes. Okay. Then we've done most everything we can. God, that is so Katamari, though. Wow, it's like an hour in and we've done nothing. <laughs> this is, I, yeah, I mean, this is like a, like a proper, like, eight-hour game. At least from what I've heard. Uh, it's not you. To... The pneumatic four <laughs> may cross the sea north. I guess we're supposed to go. Uh, yeah, I guess. 
It's almost like if you read the fucking game, it tells you what you're doing. To be fair, we know something that Aaron from Game Grumps does not. Also, like, fucking experiments with controls to make a game play better. Something else he does not know. <laughs> Do rest and play through. Uh, to be fair, that game, that game is a little niche, but... Yeah, but it, he so. used a controller the entire time. Uh, Giraffe Town only works on a keyboard properly, in my opinion. Like, you, I have beaten it with controller, but that is... That's like trying to play a fighting game with one hand on a keyboard. Levels of different from, like, playing it normally. I feel like I've just entered Breath of the Wild. What the fuck? Oh, yo, new, new respawn point. All right. All right, we have no equipment. Time, time to fight Ganon. Oh, dude, I would love to play through Zelda 1 on stream. I, I know nothing about it, though. That's why I've never, like, beaten it. Zelda 1 randomizer. That would be interesting, especially since neither of us know what the fuck's going on. I have seen a Zelda 1 randomizer. Uh, fucking... Yeah, also, that dash. Also, yeah, now you're realizing why the why the white circle is so helpful. Okay, what the fuck is th is this leading me to? Is that just here? Is that all this does? Is bringing me is here? There you didn't interact with there. Uh, I tried. I really. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Was? Yes. So I think oh, that's what I, I think that's what we're looking for is data small. Oh, oh, the big fort, big fort. To your, yeah, to I was. Also, I'm. I'm just trying to be thorough. Right. Oh, dude, another idea: Final Fantasy one. That would be. I would. Okay, I know Final Fantasy two sucks. Like the the Japanese Final Fantasy two. I kind of want to play. it. I, I know the game's infamously bad. I, I, I never heard that. I don't know much about that. Uh, so Japanese Final Fantasy 2 is... It, it's sort of like the stupid, like, what if, what if you increased all your stats by, like, attacking and taking damage and shit? Like, every stat was linked to, like, an action. Mm. It's like, that's a cool-sounding idea. Oh, wait, all this means is you just stay in a low-level area and take hits all day to get a high HP. Like yeah. It, like, it really isn't immersive. You don't stand by to get punched so you can get better durability. Right. Okay, that's weird. God. Uh, the, the dash ability reminds me a lot of the fucking, like, wall immersion ability from... Uh, link between worlds. Mm. Also, you should really like do some Skyrim or shit in this. Yeah, that's what I've been trying out. Oh, did I ever tell you? Wait, that's oh. fucking. T I think I just ran by Daniel's Mole. Hold on. <laughs> Hold on, let me get this item. Cupcake. I fought Gorma. I love fought Gorma like. Desmond, how's it going? Wait, I'm trading the fortress. Wait, we said. Intact cabinet lies within its walls. Uh, task? What, what, what is my Wayne voice? Uh, I'm not sure what Wayne's voice is. Our uh, task is likewise for us to be in this place. I'll combine forces. <laughs> is he from, like, Miami? <laughs> A canal leads under the fortress walls. Take this paddle and use the canoe. <laughs> Got paddle. Hey, neat. Also, yeah, see if you can equip the paddle. Oh, uh, and maybe that's what the boots are. Okay. Yeah. Boots! Uh, things. 
It's a stick for pushing water. What do you say we should do with it? The oh, canoe. it's this canoe. Oh, that's just trains. Oh, just check. They just want stones. I think his starting skill in this is actually really good. Uh, foam armor heals ally of a part of the foam. Uh, blood. Okay, that's the, that's just the hollow pleather equivalent. Yeah, so foam armor increases max HP and um gets rid of certain stats. Burn. Okay, yeah. I find it, it, its ability to increase it, the character's max HP in battles really interesting. I know this is the music. What do you think? It's cool. It's that you don't see their HP until you attack them. I'm also, I'm absolutely goddamn mesmerized for the animation of the middle guy. It looks like a shitty fucking, uh, like, entity backrooms, like, fan animation. Where it's, like, weirdly overly smooth. Uh, I'm just trying to do a shit ton of damage to each. Good yeah, thing you burned that first time, that just stopped killing too much. Uh, we're all doing fine on HP. I think attack this guy. They should all be taking, like, solid damage now. There you go. It's... I think so. Or it's a. What the fuck is it? I'm gonna interpret it as a. But I, oh, fuck. Punkor. I picked the one character who didn't. Okay. Yeah, as this song goes, it gets bit better and better, I think. Does this guy only do status stuff? I think like status and self heal. Yeah. Oh, interesting, because it does his HP hit max dead and stop showing his HP. Check out that stem cell is. Uh, okay, I want to save that then. Yeah, that seems like a good idea. Uh, I think. You want to use the. What's the boot pistol? Oh, so the doobie is very limited. 
Oh, actually, the dubious berry. Okay, this, oh. this is this is this is like an escape rope. Oh, also, um, that dubious berry. I think there's a skill you can get later that transfers your status conditions onto an enemy. So dubious berry should be really good. Uh, okay, soul crisper. Oh, I don't have enough. Soul crisper. All right. Oh yeah. It's a... And I'll just heal myself. I was gonna say, I was gonna say, Soul Crisper, the dude, or this to the left, because he does healing, he heals himself. Uh, yeah, the, the Salampod. Uh. What an animation. 117 Pax HP. Jesus Christ. <laughs> yeah, maybe foam armor really is fucking good. I thought it would be like 5 extra HP. No, Davis won't got it going on this time. Why don't you imagine this where he's guilty and literally just takes out a can of shaving cream and like sprays it all over the other person's like body? You know, how weird this world is, I could totally see that. And also, isn't David the most that he had, like, lots of human relics? Yeah. Yeah, he totally have a fucking can of shit in the Ukraine. Also, I love the fact that you're just going in here to find a fucking cat. I can't burn him, I don't have enough peace of energies. Who has the highest base HP? Uh, I think it's Wayne or David's mom. I don't know these enemies well enough to know like who's the like priority. Yeah. Fucker, just stab me. You know, one thing I do miss is the fucking random parking lot battle background. But yeah, it's Wayne that has the highest back HP. Because uh foam descended. We just wail on this guy. I don't think there's much else to this fight. You know what? I'm gonna go put a hot pocket. Also, Wayne just died. Now oh, we got this. So. Uh, yeah, I think we got this. Uh, yeah, well, it'll be down to the wire, though. Fuck your enemies!
Who's Pong it's Pongorma? Okay, get yourself a little bit more HP back. Dadelsmond? Uh fuck you need this. That's a, that's an animation. Uh Okay, I yeah, just keep going for Dadus Mond. Uh Do I have... I might as well use the bear, because I think Deus Mona can actually take this fight. Because that attack is not great if I'm alone in the fight. Fuck! Okay, there's no point in not just trying to stick it out as long as possible. Maybe get some meat. Okay. I see you died. Yeah, I went into a. F I didn't know things were enemies. Hmm. I have my uh, my hot pocket. It's pizza flavor. Most hot pockets? Well, no, most hot pockets are like ham and cheese and shit. Oh. I know the amount of flesh you get for stuff is a lot. I have lost all memory of like space and location. I have no clue where I am. Well, I don't. Okay, wait. Okay, I'm here. Okay. Oh, wait, these guys are enemies. We can. Whoa. <laughs> Kill him. Feral Hydra scatter. Yeah. Shank. Yeah. Okay, I think we just need to whoop this guy in the middle and. And then you, and then you can lightning it with one normal. Yeah, but I want to save that. Mm, save the wealth. Yeah. I think we can just kind of power through a lot of this. Oh, remember, those things you can slap to restore your, your HP and your health.
Is it a fault check? Mario Party stream would also be fun. Oh yeah! I ever told you I'm bad at Mario Party because I have awful luck? No me, and the friends, me and the friends once played a like 30 turn Mario Party and I didn't get a single star the entire time. That's... You know, that's its own kind of gameplay. That's like its own kind of luck? Because... The thing is, it was on a map called Pagoda Peak where the damage is it's a straight path. But, um, the star can range anywhere from 10 to 40 coins. <laughs> Every time I got to it, I either got sent back to the beginning to a random space, or the price suddenly changed near the end to make it too expensive. Uh, so in the new Digimon set, there's a Digimon that you always want to die whenever you attack with it. Uh... Does it have, like, an on-death effect? Yes, it has a really good on-deletion effect, because it basically starts your entire engine for free. Uh, well, engine's a little misleading. It's not like a Yu-Gi-Oh! engine where it's like, well, this dies, and then I summon 12 monsters, and I erase them all, and summon this big boy who fucking kicks you in the nuts and destroys the table and wins! Yeah, reminds me of the scene. It's turning investigations, I think, one, where it's Edgeworth when he's a little bit younger, interacting with a very young character named Kay Faraday, and their first interaction is Kay sneaking up, sneaking up behind him in the middle of the courthouse and kicking him in the nuts and running off. Uh... What is it doing with that phone? It's calling enemies. Ah, yeah, never to that guy. I am. Okay, I might need to, like, start using attacks on him. Oh, wait. Uh, wait. But, uh, yeah, so... When Gaussmon dies, it allows you to play a blue flare level 4 uh, Digimon from your hand, and, like, everything you want to play at that point is going to be level 4. Like, there's nothing... Like, you're almost always going to have a blue flare level 4 Digimon. Right. Uh, and it's always going to be beneficial to play one. Oh, we have fun one. <sighs> Imagine a game... Imagine there was a game where, like... On them or like healing them with spells, you could, like raise their HP from zero. Uh, you mean fucking Delta Room? Oh, is that how that works in Delta Room? Yes, you have negative HP in that game, and if you go beyond the negative, it revives them. Mm. So like, if you if they had like five health left and they got hit for like fifty, they would be at negative forty-five, and if you heal them for more than forty-five, they come back. 
Oh yeah, I thought there were like red items though, like the, the revive. Yeah, there is. Those just do it better. Mm. That that's like a that's basically like a full restore or like set you to an HP regardless of how low they were. Gotcha. Uh, and also if you survive enough turns, they naturally come back. Hmm. I like the, the negative HP system. Uh yeah, it's pretty fucking God, okay, I need to use an item. Uh that's too big of an item. Cupcake is just like a good def overall. Oh, healing head. It's like the one skill, but in the form of an item. Yeah, uh. I'll just use a gesture then. Uh. T equal reducing power. I'll, I'll use a Wayne skill for once. Oh shit. Come on, Daddy's mom. Alright, I've got no fucking. Die! Tails Moon does not deal enough damage. Can we use the muscle up leech on someone? Yeah, but I, I kind of want to have all four of them before I decide on that. Because I, I really want to see how they inherently perform before I'm like, yeah, you need more power. I want to see how much different subs Nosa is. Yeah. Uh, One flaw I think of these games, though, is that and the fact that any encounters are limited, that also means there's a limited amount of money you can realistically get, which in turn limits the amount of items you can ever have. Yeah, because even in the first game, you just get a shit ton of money, but it's not infinite. Right, but well, it's also near the end game, so like right before the final boss. Yeah. And this is a game that really feels like it's expected. Yeah, I really like the new Digimon set. It introduced a fucking wacky mechanic, though. Uh, What's that? It's called Cross Art. So, Cross Art's mechanic. Uh, let me do this double check. I also like in this game. So, in the first game, whenever you died, you were just reset to 1 HP in the afterlife. Mm, Whereas. You had to heal? Yeah, you had to heal every time, and I would always forget to do that. You were just who's you immediately? Yeah, uh. Like, yeah, why didn't they heal each other? Because they had a couch there anyway. Yeah, it's like, why... It's like, it's it's the same issue as, like, the love ball in Pokemon, where it's like... Or the heal ball. The heal ball, where it's like... Oh, you'll be healed. Uh, you'll be sent to the PC anyways. Yeah, so it's like, it's only useful early game, and that and has no other purpose. And even then, really, isn't that useful. It's like, oh, you saved me from going... Like, because you have to injure a Pokemon anyway, so it's like, it's just kind of weird in general. Yeah. But it's it's kind of like that where it's like, why not just set me back to full HP if you're going to heal me anyway? Uh. Uh. Oh yeah, Cross Art Digimon. Uh. Cross art's weird. So you know how in Digimon, you're like you never really want to use the play cost. You almost always want to digivolve. Right. Uh, cross art's basically like the alternate option to that. Is something they've kind of introduced. Oh shit! Are we ready? Uh, let's keep exploring first. Okay. It's only uh, one. Oh, and you got more will for slapping. Yeah, that's. That, I realize that's what will does, or the, the slap does. Jesus Christ! A uh, hut. Okay. Okay, that's not bad. Gizzard Supreme. Uh. Oh, maybe you should bone armor someone. Like Wayne. Uh. I'm gonna Soul Crisper. Do you have enough for both? Uh. 
Yes. I have exactly enough for both. And then next time I have Dale's Mold, and I'll, like, Wayne. Shit! I just realized that was Dale's Mold. Is that a fucking, like, printer? Oh, it only has five HP. Just attack, just attack, just attack. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so, Crossheart. It's kind of like Digimon's equivalent to XYZ in Yu-Gi-Oh. Uh, so basically, uh, you, where the fuck am I going? Uh, okay, so you have a, a cross art card in your hand, right? That has the cross art mechanic. It, it lists what two materials you need to play that cross art card. So it's a fusion in Yu-Gi-Oh? Uh, yeah, but they have to be in your hand. Jeez. Uh, they're not interactable. Damn it, I wanted to play some, play some Street Fighter. Uh, this... Oh, it's the fucking... Oh, maybe you need to turn it all on. I think you have to turn... I, I'm guessing this is a mini boss on a switch, and then if I defeat it, because uh, it's no. leading me to a cord that leads me to the force field. I'm trying to pick up the pace a little bit and not be so secret heavy. Okay. Oh, should be Wayne. Oh shit! This music. How do I get up here? Double jump. I have a double jump apparently. Oh, it's just fucking double jump, Mega Man. What do you think of the song? <laughs> Definitely better than most songs in. Uh, the first game. I fucking love this song. It's like the, the, the bass line slap. These guys do not have a clear movement pattern. Dodged him pretty well, though. I just, like, played Mega Man lately, so, like... Mm. Kinda got it, yeah. Yeah, this is all kind of fresh in my head. I like how they, they translated... It seems like they translated it pretty, pretty well for two. Yeah, it's it's actually pretty one to one. I think he even reused the physics or something like that, because what? what? Oh shit! And that okay, that's actual platformer bullshit. Oh, best part of the song. Fucking get up here! Oh, shit. Oh, that's my health bar. Okay. Fuck the the double jump is throwing me off. Is it, is, is it like unresponsive? Uh, no. Just the fact that it exists and this is so Mega Man-y. Can you destroy this and then spawning them? No. Oh. Well. oh, wait, yeah, I can. I didn't- I wasn't close enough, that's all. Mm. There we go. I like how much variety this game has. Yeah, I'm kind of figuring that out as I go. Okay, so cross heart, right? Mm -hmm. 
Uh, so, so I have a card that has the cross heart mechanic on it, and it says, and then it'll give you cross heart minus one, two, or whatever the cost is. So, basically, for each material you have in your hand, when you play this card, you put it below it as a digi evolution card and reduced its cost for each. Mm. So let's say it's a cross heart three. Uh, so for each material you would have, it will cost three less. Mm. Which is. Can I do a max of minus three? Uh, no, just four three for each. Uh, but that said, you have a limit of how much you can use for it. Uh, oh. Burrito. Uh, also, I like how there's actual items in here you can get to, to help you out in, like, the IRL. This is really fleshed out for, like... I wonder if this is a reoccurring thing. Maybe. Yeah, it, it's just, like I said, this is really well thought out for, like, a throwaway thing. But then again, Hylix seems like the exact type of game to do that. Oh, there were, I've, been, I've been working on another content for my own card game. Um, so the main mechanic is that, first of all, the, so I need to talk about the way the board's set up since board, since card placement is really important in this. So each side basically has a two by three, like two up, three across, and then a space like behind that. The space that's behind is for your feeder card, which is in play the entire time, and you lose when your feeder dies. I think I also refer to it as a, as a commander. It's the. I'm not sure what the. Uh, what are you want to Okay, that sounds good. Yeah, because I said. Oh, those, oh yeah, those are respawn points. That's what it is. See, I, 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 I really wasn't afraid to die. Basically, I'm not sure what like you know like the like the point system is or like how often you can how often you can summon things to your side or like how much you can do with one card or whatever. Basically, each uh, row. Remember, on, for both people, it's two rows of six, with each person getting three on each row. Basically, you can summon a, a card to there, and the uh, basically, on your turn when you attack, you always attack your opponent's frontmost card in the same row as the attacker. And then attackers have, like, attack and HP. So let's say on the top row, I have a card with, you know, five attack, and I attack my opponent's five HP monster. They die, and then the one behind it immediately moves up. Now, only the frontmost card can attack, unless it has range, so like your archer can fire even if they're not in the front. And uh, if, a, if any, if either of the two rows are completely empty, then your leader starts taking damage. Sort of like a direct attack. I was trying to air dodge. Uh, that did not work. It's just like Metroid vibes. This is very Metroidvania kind of make manny. Axiom Verge. Never played that. It's the one I showed you when we came over to the other the old place. Is that a computer lady thing? I have to show you the picture. That could be a game we play for you. My I have not. My July get a bell for that. Can you like hold down the fire? Do you have to tap it? You have to tap it. Ah, uh, I see. I have no clue where I'm going. It is just to the end. I don't know where that is. That very slick movement there, my friend. Fuck. Fuck. What the hell is that? God, that's like an actual Mega Man enemy where it's like weirdly fast and it's like, uh. Fuck, that's death. Oh, 
Okay, uh, so yeah, Crossheart, uh, though I will say since you are playing something on play, it does not get to attack the turn it's played. That said, uh, like one of the main two Crossheart cards right now, uh, for one of the main few. What's that there? I don't know. Oh, you can fucking dash on the lava? That's fucking weird. God, how do I kill you? Nice dodge. Oh yeah, you're slightly delayed, so... Fucking... Can you roll through them? Uh, I, I haven't been able to try, but I just killed it. Alright. Yeah, so I think you can platform up to whatever that thing was. Yeah. THERE'S A CHARGE ATTACK! This really fucking is Mega Man! Missed opportunity, though, to, uh, not have Wayne fire between the, the spot and spawns. Uh, kill the spawner. Something's like statusing me. I'm not moving here. Oh, you naturally move forward when you jump. Oh, it's this entire thing's moving. No, that's not gonna work. Let's sign e easy, Chief. You know, I thought we could read this piece. Wanna just, just try to get to the end. Yeah. I'm trying. This is not me fucking around, Carter. This is like. But I think I'll give you one of the chips. Uh. Oh, God. Did you already get a save point in a muscle depleting? Or did you already get a muscle depleting this segment? Uh. I don't know. Oh, that kills me. Thank god that you're not like limited on lives or something. You can just respawn. Couch. Wait, wait, wait. Keep moving to the right. Oh, I want to get the couch and stuff. I think that's progression. I think those are just bigger coins. Oh, okay. It's like worth more bucks. All right, then I'm not concerned about getting to the one side. Although, it's just a little Actually, I wonder if like you can replay these damage to grind for money. Uh, I wouldn't I be surprised. That's kind of what this feels like it's for. Yeah. My guess is this is like the secret item money grind area. Yeah, it'll like. And they're kind of teaching you this mechanic and what its place is now. It's also worth noting that the faded coins seem to be like grayed out studs, kind of like mechanic. Like. Oh, that is true. Yeah, maybe they're not actually what they're doing. Because yeah, uh, yeah, they're exactly yeah. where they like the real ones were before. So yeah, maybe you can't use this section to grind for money. But I wonder if it respawns when you re-enter the segment, so it's like. It encourages you to get better and faster at doing it. Yeah. 
Oh, I wouldn't be surprised if there's stuff like the muscle which don't respond. Those are clearly meant to be like this. Fucking 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 Fucking
Oh, there goes Wayne. Uh, Pongorma. You know what? We're going to get a lot back. Okay, good. Attack Pongamara. Or attack Deus Wound. Wings down. All right. Ah, oh, shit. That's definitely an enemy. Um. Your way through the video game? Yeah. Uh, you, you like left right as it ended. Ah, uh, damn. Sorry, I needed to take a shit. What can I say? Uh, I can't. Um. Okay, let me. Okay, uh. Oh, so that card game I mentioned earlier. The other thing is that. I remember how I mentioned that each child has a player fight that when the commander dies, the game ends? Yeah. Um, one other interesting thing that each commander also has a unique yeah. ability. I've come up with three so far and made like decks surrounding them. There's um General Lionheart, Rockneck the Goblin King, and Firefall the Dragon. <laughs> I didn't have a name for the dragon, but I just use the name Firefall for now. I think so that's a Lion a cool niche reference. Yeah. So um Lionheart's ability is discard is a shuffle. It's basically, uh, draw a number of cards equal to the amount of cards in your hand, uh, then discard a uh, number of cards from your hand equal to that, equal to what you drew. Okay, so it's basically a, 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 a kind of twist on a reload kind of mechanic, like. Yeah, basically, it's keep what you want and get rid of it. Uh, the Dalvin King's ability means take all the enemies you control and change their positions to whatever you want. So that can make so you, uh, basically, if, if an enemy's lane is kind of weak, you can put a stronger monster there to keep up the offensive, you can move lower HP enemies to the lower HP enemies to the back, stuff, or enemies that are play status to the other throw, stuff like that. Wait, the pool men are weak to fire! Okay. I, I don't have the ability to use fire. All my friends are dead. Oh yeah, and then Fireball's ability is every monster in a row it just takes a shit ton of fire damage. But most of their creatures would be like kobolds that uh, take less damage from fire. Okay, I've had an idea for like a Warner Bros. themed TCG based on like Cartoon Network and like other properties. Basically like multiverses but a TCG. Uh, and I, I, I've mainly been building out the Ben 10 archetype because I, I, I think it's the best way to explain this idea. Uh, it, there's a lot of influence from the Pokemon arc, uh, t it's basically like Pokemon meets Digimon in terms of like what I, the gameplay was inspired by. Uh, so basically you have a, it's kind of like, I only mentioned it cause it's like kind of what you were describing a little bit. Eh. Uh, do you know how Pokemon works the TCG? It's like you, you have uh, the energy. I've never been sure about the win conditions. Uh, so in Pokemon, you set down six prize cards, uh, and when uh, whenever you attack an opponent directly, you get to you get to take one of your prize cards and add it to your hand. Mm. So in other words, your goal is to get all six of your prize cards gotcha. by by knocking out your opponent's uh, Pokemon. Uh, 
which is kind of the way, way of simulating of, hey, we have to have enough Pokemon to fill out a deck, but at the same time, we want to have, like, you only have six Pokemon logic from the games. Uh, why the fuck am I, am I, isn't it, okay, not here, I guess. Oh, yeah, the fucking boat. But so for yeah for General Lionheart's deck it would be a lot of soldiers. Um, also, uh, there's also along with like the monsters also like like uh, like magic as cards you can play to like do an instantaneous effect, like spell cards or whatnot. But like Lionheart's talking about you know, like soldiers and then archers that have range and like shield men that have a lot of HP but don't deal a lot of damage. You no know, basic stuff like that. And then, like, the goblin guy, he has, like, a lot of status stuff along with, uh, the go along with, like, you know, basic goblins, and one of, the, I think one of those goblins effects that whenever it attacks, it, uh, if possible, it changes the row it's in after attacking. Hmm. So all of this stuff is, like, moving around monsters, and then stuff like that by statuses. And then fireballs is, um, just big damage. Big heckin' damage. I was also thinking of doing a lich whose thing is swarming with undead. Uh, so to to explain my TCG's ideas, so your energy system, I I want to borrow the pendulum energy system from Digimon because I think it's fucking brilliant fundamentally. I, honestly, yeah, I agree with you 100 on that. And I think it works really well with the theme of this. So the energy system is minutes in this, and the idea that you have an episode's worth at a time. So you have so each one energy unit is two minutes. Uh, how, long, how long did the episodes typically run? Twenty minutes. Twenty minutes ish. For like the majority of Warner stuff, it's twenty minutes ish. But that said, it does go up to sixty minutes, uh, which is a lot more energy than you have in Digimon. Mm. With sixty minutes loosely representing the hour concept. Right. Uh. Uh, and you only have one active, like, fighting uh, character at a time, but you have a back row that swaps in if that one dies that you always have access to. Uh, and they have they have effects that only trigger if they're, if they're back row characters, and then they have effects that only trigger if they're front row. And, they, and that's the supporting cast versus the main character, basically. I had to look something. I thought I saw something that this Marvel had. Uh, the TCG or Marvel or Marvel Snap? Uh, Marvel Champion. Uh, what is? Oh, let me fucking use phone. I'm gonna look up Marvel. I'm gonna look up Marvel TCG. I know there is like some sort of Marvel card game, and I can't remember if it's good or like fleshed out. I think it is. I think it is Champions. We didn't. We didn't pick it up and try it out. So uh, I really do want to try the Zatch Bell TCG though, because I'm really curious how the fuck that works. Yeah. Also. One to four planets? What? The TCT is listed as one to four planets. Yeah. How do you play it alone? Oh, wait, hold on. Uh, it's solitaire. <laughs> Interesting how they made Data Small the healer in this game. Uh, okay, anyway, my, my TCG idea. So it's all, all themed around Warner characters. So, uh, and it's a very, it's basically a super spell card oriented game, for lack of a better term. Like, like a lot, you have, there's going to be a lot of searching for your base cards and then a lot of using your stuff to like really get the mileage out of it. Right. Yeah. Uh, so, like, for example, Ben 10, I think it's the best way to explain this because I, I have it very flushed out in my head. So, when you play a given version of Ben 10, uh, there will be, uh, you have the ability to, to turn him into an alien by lay, uh, by replacing him with a, uh, an alien card. Where are the flesh chunks going? Yeah. Away. Are we, wait, are they moving away or are we just constantly walking backwards <laughs> as the fight is happening? 
<laughs> I think you know the answer. Everyone's just moonwalking the whole time? Yes. <laughs> Keep going, Ben 10. Okay, so basically, uh, for like one attack, you get to count as an alien, which gives you better stats and like better shit. And then you turn back to Ben. Uh, and then you have the Omnitrix, which you could play to search for a alien. But it's like the top five cards, like add one alien. And depending on which Omnitrix you're using, you would be able to search for different aliens. Like, if it's an alien force... Uh, oh, what the fuck's this? Juice. Uh, if it's an alien force alien, you can like... Or search for the top five cards. If there's an alien force alien, you can add it to your hand. Kind of effect. Right. Uh... And then Kevin would have the ability to absorb uh, what he can basically cop. He can like uh, he can basically play one spell card from your opponent's trash because he absorbed energy. Mm. Is like the logic. Okay, take care of the full man first. Yeah, uh, fire time, bitches! It's Crispin time. Okay, that was kind of underwhelming. Yeah, I said kill before he, like, flies. I'm, I'm assuming the burn itself does more damage. Okay, I really don't know what the fuck this attack... That was kind of a weird hint, because it doesn't seem like it's that much stronger than usual. And then also, because it's War Brothers. How would, how would you be doing? Uh, that's something I'm kind of working on, but the idea is... Uh, it's a very removal based deck because you're finding clues to catch the culprits. So basically, it's kind of like a stockpiling to remove kind of deck. Yeah, I don't know. I, I imagine that, like the cards that you use that are like um, the clamor card names your opponent has to get rid of it. Like you're trying. To, like, yeah, that's kind of what I was thinking. Like removal limitations, kind of like nerfing your opponent because you solved the mystery. I, I think the idea is that depending on what your opponent has, uh, you can literally set a trap. And if your opponent does what you think they'll do, you can basically counter them. Like setting a trap to find the culprit. Yeah. Uh, I know for Chowder, it's all about building up food that allow. So you would have a limited amount of, ro like, card zones, like uh, Magic, or uh, Yu-Gi-Oh. Right. But basically, so you have your front... Basically, think of it as, like, your extra deck zone is your main character, and then you have your supporting characters taking up uh, your basic monster zones. Mm. Uh, and then you have the row behind them that's, like, your option cards that stay... Or your spell card equivalents. Right. Uh... And basically, each food item would allow you to have another zone, as well as a small passive effect, like deal another 100 damage per attack or whatever. I think, I think the initial idea is that basically, uh, it allows you to play... Like, the food cards themselves would have effect, but you know how, like, in Yu-Gi-Oh, the, there's the Pendulum monsters that can also play the spell cards? Yeah. Is that Shadow's food card, you could play them as an extra monster zone or whatever, and any supporting card on top of it because yeah a lot of the food is alive in chowder right like a weird amount of food is like a living thing yeah that they just stuff into someone's mouth basically I, i'm a big fan of chowder i don't think yeah. i ever finished it but yeah one of my favorite things about chowder was uh, the patterns on the clothes oh yeah i'd love that visual effect uh cool one. you're just slurping up his body with a straw basically I feel like I should buy some juice boxes for the next time we play this game and just drink juice boxes. That's an interesting looking pride flag in the background. <laughs> I don't even say, hey, what does that pride flag stand for? We have one brain cell. We're, we're a high mind like the Waynes. Is this the tower? Yeah, tower key. Paper cup! Oh, oh shit! Go down, go down the hole, go down the hole. There's a hole in there. Well, now I'm fighting. Oh, that's a lot of enemies. Okay. Uh, time to use, like, everything I have, because I'm scared of this. And then, Edward, you can go back into the room and uh, slap some of them. Uh... That makes sense in this game. I'm gonna heal your ass. 
What the fuck? You'll see. Probably. God, there is so much shit on screen at a given time, like. And it's all so abstract that, like, your brain is just, like, constantly processing, like. Okay, so. Wayne is poisoned. Pandorma's defending. Days one of the small armor. One enemy appears to be regening and is charged. Yeah, I'm trying to think of how to handle this. Uh, shit, how do I kill you? Uh... Can I... Uh, I think I just... Uh, no, Wayne needed some more. That is totally just hollow pleather, by the way. Oh, the... 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 the only thing. Uh, a fucking... my brain is, like, bouncing between... like, 10,000 things on screen. This game has been very much, like... ADHD, too much stimulus. Uh, okay. I still have... Uh, I guess I'll use this again. I feel like I'm constantly on the back foot right now. Okay. I should have enough HP just to wail on this thing. That attack's weird. Oh yeah, that is a little unsettling. Fucking stop healing! If you if you do have to do this fight, I would recommend burning. Uh okay, it's it's heckin' juice time. That is I like, like the sad That's like right out of the first game too. Okay. I mean to... Shit. I just realized I haven't been using the right thing. 35 out of... Okay. God. Like, it is so hard just to attack this thing. Dale's one's probably going to go down in the next few hits. Okay, I need a... I'm making, like, no progress in using, like, every item. Okay. Soul Crisper. Burn! Do you know what the theremin is? Yeah. Where's the tool now? A largely devoid of sen sentience. Okay, if there's any time to give mania and power to a character. I love that you slurp it. Uh, and Wayne, have a banana. A weirdly common trend. Lightning anything. That thing has a shit ton of health, man. And now everything's sleeping. No! You fucker! Oh, 
God, I can't kill it in time. No! I have no way to kill it in time before it kills me. Okay, I'm gonna have to burrito Wayne. Who unfolds a burrito when they eat it? <laughs> Someone who does not understand how a burrito works. Apparently Wayne. <laughs> no! Fuck, that might have ruined it. That might have killed me. Okay. Wayne just like puts all the ingredients on the burrito, but like the meat is raw, and then he just puts the whole thing in the oven so the meat and the tortilla cook, and then just like stab pieces off of his nachos. Actually, that doesn't sound good. Oh, I fucked up. I meant to attack someone different than what I ended up attacking. Hey, you grind up some meat. Especially in this game, because like, in this game, when like, you're not dying as much, for, I mean like, first of all, this game seems a lot harder than High Witch 1, right? Yeah. But I, one of the things that I think is great about these games is that death doesn't feel super detrimental, that's because you can become more powerful. Are you responding in the right place? Uh, yeah, it kind of auto puts you on your latest thing. Okay, gotcha. Uh, but yeah, my Warner idea I think is interesting, but yeah. I I feel like I could probably pull it off with Neon Dynamo if I wanted to do like my own version of it without like going through Warner and just make mm -hmm. Dio from Dial Shift the Ben 10 counterpart. Right. Oh, also, I realized Dio is like the best nickname for a Zora one. Every time it's revealed, it's it. It was actually me, Dio. Okay then. Come on, you can't say that's not clever. To be fair, I've never actually watched it. I have watched the first episode like three separate times, being like, "Okay, I'll watch it for real this time." And I've not made it for it. I've heard the first season. Uh, I can't really tell because I've made it through like three episodes ever. Are there like not stands at all in like season one? Yeah, from what I understand. What it seems like, yeah. Nice slap. Alright, remember, hit him with uh, Soul Prism. Heal guys. Uh. Oh, but this guy the... was like the real asshole towards the end. Maybe so. Maybe. Or is it maybe Soul, Soul Crisper, Prism. this guy. Maybe you should, then maybe you should, like, fucking foam armor someone and then and lightning the, the asshole. Yeah, lightning. This is just a casual battle over strategizing this much. Yeah, I think we lightning whenever we can, that guy. Because his sleep mechanic is silly. Oh, he sleeps when everyone is asleep? But Daedal's mole is actually active, interestingly. Wait, in the first town, do a chimney does a coffee shop. Oh, do you think coffee wakes people up? I, I would imagine. Okay, Daedal's Mold, Foam Armor, Pangorma, because he's the most important in this roster. Okay. Oh, yeah, and then I think I just attacked this guy whenever I had a chance. And then I need a high roll from someone to take take down. Nice. And then Wayne can soul crisper the other one. I love that even in minor battles, you 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 gotta think. And then Pangorma can lightning ready boy. And 
I think a snap might be able to take him down at this point. Yeah. <laughs> okay, no one gets to do anything. Oh, fuck you, game. <laughs> He's like, no, you're staying asleep. But it refused. Now we just wail on this guy. Uh, since you can only really use stuff in battle, I'm gonna start healing. Yeah, but I'm trying to get the most out of my will before I do that. That sounds really good. Uh, and not, yeah, and I don't, I don't think Sompnosa is nearly as broken in this game, unfortunately. They can't do like 900 in a single attack. Apparently these are not bugs. <laughs> oh. What it's is hole? Oh! Okay. oh, it's the portal to the actual. It's a portal to the actual. Oh, is that... Where are you? Another thing below. That thing. Can't we already go to this one, though? I thought we were using a different one. Or maybe that's just like a fast travel shortcut back. I Brian, think yeah, that's yeah. what it is. One thing I don't like about this game, weirdly enough, is that there's a little, a little bit less to do. I like that the original Afterlife, there were other places to explore. This Afterlife feels a little more empty. I just haven't really been exploring it, to be honest. That's fair. Because there's, like, stuff over here I really haven't been looking at. Hi, Wayne. Dying Wayne? Oh. <laughs> oh. Plot twist, that's the prior Wayne. Oh, God. And he's just been dying. He's actually dead for real. That's like he would. That's like when he fell from space after the end of the first game. Yeah. My headcanon is still that after the end of the first game, the reason why everyone's like back to level one in this is that to, they all saved Wayne by giving them everything, like all the power buffs they had. That's still my headcanon. And then, like Wayne's just barely brought back, so that's why he's level one. Yeah, because my other theory is that basically the re uh, that um the reason why my other head can is that basically this Wayne is um basically this Wayne is weirdly enough more intelligent than the other Waynes at Wayne House, which is why first of all he wasn't at Wayne House in the first game like he struck out on his own, and that's also why he put on all these quests is because old Wayne knows he's like the best of them, and for some reason he's different. Stem cell. I really need to start using those when I'm like in deep shit in battle. Uh, what else? Oh shit, is it the dude from Don't Hug Me, I'm Scared? And we live in an actual nightmare! That's a new season joke. Oh, this is Vywax! I am Vywax. I presume you admit my multiple guests. Those dies are granted me the strength to oppose such meddling. Nothing will prevent my hellexity. I mean, oh, that's just high level talk. Anticipate your demise. This is a groovy. Oh yeah, this song is called "That's a Big Stick." Oh. It is a reference. Oh. To but is that the reference to a Winston Churchill quote? Uh, Winston Churchill once said, in terms of his uh, policy on like a uh, war, it was um, walk softly and carry a big stick. It basically means don't start a fight, but be ready to fight back. Uh, 
Uh, I really need a. Okay, let me think about this. But so, if they need to slap him right now, maybe burn him. Yeah, I think it's my next big move. I mean, this game feels like it has more of a story. Yeah, but it does have that same kind of weird, like, what the fuck's going on, kind of. So, as far as I know, what it is is that basically, Dibby's followers, you killed Dibby in the first game, and this game, Dibby's followers are trying to bring him back to life. You're trying to prevent them from actually bringing him back. So, it's Zelda 2. Yes. Okay, so from now on, Daedalsmon is a slappy boy. Now that he's too low on uh, energy. Like, he, like he, he sprayed himself with shaving cream and he's like, I, I'm done. He's like uh, 1E wizards who have like one spell slot that they have to predetermine the spell for. They do that and they're like, yep, I'm out. God, I want to play a D&D campaign again. I haven't gone to it in a long time. Uh, oh shit, those guys are all just on a map to spawn other enemies. Uh, yeah. Do I take them out first? Okay, Dale's Moln, your job is just to keep smacking the big guy. Uh, and keep taking hits. Wayne, I think, is going to start going for, like, other stuff. I, okay, I don't imagine that more enemies should spawn from here. Like, where would they be put on the screen? Uh, Deodos Mold. Yeah, your job is just to keep slapping the big guy. I'm gonna stick to that. He doesn't have much more time left, and he's doing the big damage. Also, note that you don't have any, like, any like, equipped items or anything. Yeah, but we haven't been getting much. Yeah, is there not like a shop for that? I think there was. I just haven't. Ha I didn't have money when I when it was there. Okay, so this time when we die, let's go back to let's go back to New Moldo, get some equipment, and maybe buy some coffee. Because if these guys can summon enemies, they might summon the sleep fucker. Yeah, but I think we're actually good for this fight. I'm feeling good about it. All right. We're actually tank. We're actually tank. Wait, who, who am I? Pangorma. Uh, I'll just... I think I can get him down in a couple hit, more hits, so... I should hit the other guy. Yeah, because I'm tanking the hits actually pretty well. Except for Wayne. Also, I fucking love this song. Pretty cool. Pretty heckin' ding 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 cool! Also, did I say that I like the idea that the, well, in game all the base healing spells also would be like really hard. And, like, that was the thing in Highlights One. And oh, I wish there's I a new enemy. Where is he? Behind. Oh, he's behind the boss. He's just. How are you alive? You fuckers. Uh, you have the stem cells. Yeah. Uh, Wayne's gonna start getting that. That should counter his leaking. Oh, foam? Oh, uh, yeah. Foam armor, I think, also cheers leaking. What does leaking do? Uh, it's, it's, it's like bleed. It's. I feel like there should be some sort of magic bleed. Like something that, like, instead of dealing damage to HP every turn, it, like, it, like reduces your MP every turn. There probably is. Uh... God, there's... Okay! Is this phase two? Uh, okay. Kill this guy. Do you have a res item? No, I'm dead. Oof. You'd have to face two, though. I don't- I honestly don't know what the fuck happened. Yeah, let's- let's go to that shop. It was in a new mall, though. Yeah, uh... Also, there's one section of this game that I don't know when it happens, 
But it's like the funniest fucking thing ever. I can't wait for us to see it. So does being clean just prevent the first time you get the status? Uh, I think so, and I think it also just uh, refills your health in case you use meat. Okay, no, uh, switch to new mold alt. Yeah. Uh, Immediately, the afterlife system in this game is so much better. And also, another weird thing is that this game essentially tells you where you go. Whereas, that you're trying to like remember, wait, where did this crystal go to again? So let me try to remember, how, how the fuck did I get to the... It was like, it was like off to the right. Yeah, I remember that. Oh, yeah. A big pink arrow in the, the hint. It's not... Yeah, it's not that. Is it, is it? So that's like the mayor house. And this is... No, it's down and to the right, I think. It's in that we still have a lot to do here. Like, there's a lot of blocked in areas. Uh, okay. Not. Um, yeah, I'm going the wrong way. Oh, uh, it's like below you. Right. Remember, there's like the big pink hand pointed. No, why do I keep going there? Oh yeah, it's this. Uh. Oh, yeah, the one bullet seems like a. All right, these are definitely one bullets. How much? Four to fifty meat bones. Wait, wait, wait. All right. Uh, and then. Oh, that. That's actually, that's like a, more of a shield than anything else. Yes. I think we should definitely get something really high power for Park Ormuth and make his lightning do more. Yes. Because what I'm thinking is that we should just... That's what the tendril hand is, but we don't have enough of that. Yeah. What I'm thinking is that our strat for the boss should be, um, don't worry about the tendo things, because they'll die when phase two happens, right? Yeah, we know so that now. So immediately, just like, heavy pressure on the boss, like lightning it and shit. Love. Okay, leather gate. Actually, wait. What's. Fuck. Also, we. Uh, yeah. Oh, no, you, you wanted to what? see. Okay, that's actually. That's going to. So, since Wayne is a lot about status stuff, I want to keep him just generally alive. Right. Uh, so, I'm giving him the mitts, and then Dadelsmull needs to hit attack harder. And Pangorma needs to attack harder. Maybe you should foam armor Wayne to keep him alive for a long time. Yeah. So turn one should be like Wayne, like Soul Crispers, the big boss to keep him to. Like, I think turn one should be Wayne, Soul Crispers boss, Pangorma, Lightning's boss, Davis Mode, foam armor. That sounds like a good like. Yeah. Turn. Wait, say that again. Also. Um, it's Wayne uses Soul Crisper on the boss, on, on, on Vuax. Datus Moan foam armors on Wayne, and upon Norma, lightnings on Vuax. You know what? I should... Wait, go into your gesture menu. Yeah. Can you use the parish? I tried. Ah, oh, damn. That was like the first thing I tried. Yeah, oh yeah, there's the afterlife portal. That's what I was going for next. Interesting that so many of the Wayne larvae are in the afterlife. Are they like waiting to be revived or something? Yeah, that is a good question.
Oh wait, actually, there's. We can now that we have higher flesh. Uh, okay, firstly, we can go down to the bathtub and. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually, with this one, with this good of stash, do think maybe we should kill the, the chicken things that were in the one area? Uh, yeah, actually, that might be. Do you want to just try the boss, and if we do it, we do it, and then we do it? Uh, or actually, or I want to go for the chickens, because that right. can make the boss easier. Thought I thought of it. Uh. I just we just get well, we just get fucking raffle stopped again. Yeah, and then we just go back and die, and then we can just try it again. It's it's not really like a time loss. There there is one or two songs in the Wayne one. Uh, the Highlight 1 OC I really love though. Specifically one called April Guitar. You know, Hylix has the cl some of the closest feeling to like Earthbound. In a lot of games, like even more than Undertale, it's a game like that's supposed to be so inspired by it. All right, you think we can do this? Uh, we did beat one of them on their own, but we really didn't give it a chance to do much. Yeah, here though, although there's more of them, but we also have much higher stats. Yes. And also, we finally got items. Yeah. Uh. Fuck, we're gonna have to take this seriously. I think Dale's one is best making himself into a tank who can just attack constantly. I'm surprised we haven't found any water coolers yet. We have a paper cup, so we know we're gonna find a water cooler somewhere. Uh, and then gesture, and then we'll do salt, uh, crisper. Soul Crisper on. Remember, I had an idea for like a sci fi RPG. With one of the gimmicks they came up with is that um, each character, rather than just having like HP and like, you have HP, uh, SP, which is like show up with your map. Or no, SP isn't the right term for it, but it's like. HP, like your agit point, and then a shield. And it's it's a move shield where like, oh yeah, once you shoot once you like you take damage to your shield for your HP. The damage that your shield actually generates fully between combats. But it's harder to regenerate HP than in other games. I don't like the fact that that goes fast. Uh yeah. Uh Wayne, what can Wayne do? Uh, I think we just have to go to the same strategy. To the Dallow form? Yeah. To... The other guys, the other guys aren't huge. Yeah, I just think do every status we can. So... Oh, we can act twice now. I think. Yeah, I think that's what. Fast does. Caliform and just. Say just. Oh yeah, you don't have will. Uh, and then. Oh, there goes Wayne. Pangorma, Pan. I do this to. Nope, I can't. Well, I should do this anyway. Yeah, I think these guys are still a little bit out of our range. Yeah, I don't really have a way to kill them. Because now they're going to attack and kill data. Uh, yeah. It's cool that they let you fight them anyway, though. Yeah. Yeah, because we can just go back to the afterlife, so I'm not really that... Did you use any items there? No. Okay, you, just, you didn't lose anything you might want to Yeah, I intentionally did it because I knew this was basically an impossible fight. 
Uh, or at least the the reward was not worth it. Oh, oh I want to. Oh, I didn't get flesh from that. Uh, I think you only get flesh if you actually finish the fight. Because yeah, and I think that essentially you could kill an enemy and then die, and when you go back to the fight, they wouldn't respawn. Okay, let's go boss time. Wanna, once you finish the boss, you want to end the stream, or you want to keep going? Yeah, I think so. Jesus, this is like the first boss, and it's taking us this long to get to it. How many Honestly, bosses I are like, there? I don't know, but I did this game like eight hours. So I know there's a lot more to this game, and I like that. I like that it's a lot more. We can have more fun with it. Yeah. Uh, if you know how many bosses are, then I can make an estimate of how far we are. I do not. Okay. So. Now that we know they're all gonna die. Like, don't bother. Don't bother. Just fucking attack this bastard. Like, that's, and like that's not a one. Alright, so he should foam armor either himself or Wayne. Uh, Wayne has more. Uh, will. Will, and we can refill that for a lot more power value. Uh, how much HP does he have now? 177. So it's going to be pretty hard for Wayne to die before he gets all of his shit off. That said, Wayne is slower, keep in mind, because of his items. Right. And maybe Soul Crisp is the boss as well. Because he eventually will try to heal with the stem cell. Uh, Dalesmond just attacks. Check. Yes, Check. keep attacking Wayne. He is pretty much invulnerable. And then disillusion him so we can reduce his damage output and keep another stack of passive damage. Uh, oh, no, he is still working. Uh, okay, let me see. What are my... Uh... Nah. Uh... 50... No, that's overkill. Okay, so I think I've got to use... The full... Like, my full... Uh, will before I use an item, basically. For strategical purposes. Right, you want to get your most out of your will. Before I refill it basically to full, no matter what, I, what I'm at. Oh. Okay, we got him. Question mark? Oh. Huh. I guess it doesn't trigger the phase if you kill him fast enough. And we actually, I, mean, that's I think we just cleared them out now. We didn't even use an item. Okay, yeah, so the, the bum rush strat seemed to work pretty well. Yeah, kill that guy, Ponglorma attacks, and then Dalesmon does, and we'll just keep going. This was easier than I thought. Yeah, I guess just maybe spreading our attack. Yeah, maybe we didn't even face change, and then that's just an attack. He does, like, after I'm gonna hop on a highlights wiki and check that. <laughs> also, I'm say I'm very glad you're enjoying uh, highlights. Yeah. One hundred and three bones, seventeen meat. That's big. Two stem cells, and a muscle apple peak. Okay, okay, spiky radius, 42 damage. Um, he hits everything in battle, including other enemies, but he has to be charged. So Actually, that's so that's what, what he was preparing to do. Hmm. Because he charged himself and he went down to like 1 HP. Gotcha. So I'm guessing he has to reduce his HP to do that? No, I, no, I don't. That's not really Loki. I think you just also happen to do it on one turn. 
Oh, it was fucking his burn damage brought him down to one, I just realized. Yeah. Actually, why don't you just head back to the afterlife real quick and uh, deposit all that succulent meat? Uh, probably. Let me get this snail. I mean, it's, it's got a bone or whatever the fuck. Uh, what the fuck? Also, eventually, here? eventually you yourself get the charge still, and I know it's like one of the most vital points of combat later on being able to charge. But I think in this game, charge skills not only are they more powerful, but they have new effects and sometimes different effects. So does this? Yeah, gel, gel key. This is what I thought. And now we free. Uh. Slap the bug. I am Blitterl, the magnate of the new model. We discussed your view act and, ag and he agreed to commute your sentence. Oh, which I wonderful love... news. I am eager to return to my throne. Join me at the palace and I'll reward you amply. Can I just say how, like, how fucking funny that was how Wayne uh, phrased it? Because you tell them, he's like, we, we reviewed your sentence with him. Yeah. Our captors spoke of effort edifice. He, 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 they read, no. <laughs> they <laughs> meant to raise it via prescribed gestures. By the way, please stop by my cafe when you refer to town. So that's what you do. Oh yeah, I, I think you can access it earlier and get coffee early, but you need to like, like jump through the window. Well, the, the, we could we went there, but there was like no one actually there. Mm. Uh. Yeah, I didn't think you'd buy coffee. Okay, let's see. Does this? How much money did he get when you killed him? Uh, like a hundred something, like a hundred and seven ish. Not bad, but not you know, like not like lining. Your not like the holy shit you think it would be. Yeah. Uh, so we could teleport to the afterlife. We could explore stuff now. I, we, I mean, you could just use. I'm not sure how much there is to explore. We, I mean, you could just fast travel. Yeah, I think so. I, we can also meet. Yeah. Find up a meet. I like Chibi Wayne a lot. E. Uh. So, now that we've played up to the first boss, what are your initial impressions of this game? This is definitely the better one of the two. It, that's a, I, I, ha, I am having less trouble following stuff, or like more trouble following the combat and the where I'm going. But it's more fun to do both, if that makes sense. Like, right. I have less clue what's going on, but I'm enjoying it more. I mean, I think part of it is that this game is just more complex, both in its world and its combat. So naturally, it's going to become harder to follow. That's just the price you pay for having all of that be so much more complex. I, yeah, also, just presentation-wise, this game is, like... RPG Maker has a charm, I will absolutely admit that, but for this game, like, you know, the art is better, the music is miles better, Chuck Salomon did a great job in this one's soundtrack, the writing is easier to understand, and I think that's intentional for, like, continuity. Uh, so Palace is a thing we can do now, Coffee's a thing we can do now. You want to just, like, let's just, like, do the Palace and the Coffee and then make the stream. Yeah, because I'm guessing it's going to set us up for the next thing. Yeah, I'll be like, alright, we'll do that next time. On Dragon Ball Hylix. Yeah. Oh, also, so yeah, everyone talks about, you know, like, fucking Goku versus Superman, whatever. Yeah. I want to see Goku and Superman versus Frieza and either, like, Zod or Doomsday. Huh. Like, have them team up. Kind of depends on which era of Frieza, because Frieza can pull off stupid shit in like modern Dragon Ball now. Like Black Frieza is such an absurd powerhouse, like logic-wise. What Frieza? Black Frieza. I didn't know that was a thing. Yeah, it's just, it's basically his upgrade to Golden. Oh, is it like beyond Gold? Yeah, it's basically Super Saiyan 2, but for Gold. I'm not. I'm gonna look that out. It's manga only right now, but it probably will appear in canon. Oh yeah, I searched in DBS and Black Freeze one of the first. Oh yeah, it's mod only, so it is kind of hard to tell. But it is meant to be black anyway, so... Oh, someone uh, someone made fan art of it on DeviantArt. Oh, of course they did. 
It's deviant art. Dude, fucking, do you know what Pikru is? Uh, no. It's like it's like a site with a bunch of like character makers. I love that site because it fills the void in my heart that 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 became a thing when Flash died and all the deviant art character creators went down. Mm -hmm. Uh. Okay. Take the dock key and then our air. Okay, we have the airship now. Maybe. Uh. Okay, so basically, there's a chunk of him they have that's like locked away. Oh, is, do we have the act transitions in this game? Those are cool ass gloves. Yeah. Oh, this is told us retrieving the cupulet? Yeah. That you want it what that looks like? What? That looks like the final boss from Super Mario RPG. That it it kinda does, yeah. What was his name? Smithy? Smithy, yeah. This is that's like a fucking wallpaper. Uh, All right, now that we've seen Tolkien's it's raising a demon from hell. Let's get some coffee. As you do, it's the only rational thing. Where was the coffee? Dude, I think I was in the you mentioned about this. I've been I've been rewatching the most of the F Zero anime. This is summarized. One of my favorite moments. Why did you save my life? I betrayed you. We drink the same kind of coffee. No, we don't. <laughs> it's uh, basically um, like the main team hires a drill sergeant named James McLeod to train them. He's super hard, but Rick Wheeler uh, comes to like him. And one thing they mentioned is that at the cafe, uh, the the server, a guy named Bart, he uh, serves people a different blend depending on what he thinks of them on first impression. And he gave McLeod his road boost. Simply because he's like, oh, they seem similar. But they pointed out the fact that they drink theirs totally differently with, um, Ryu drinking his with sugar and cream and McLeod drinking his black. So no, they don't even drink the same kind of coffee. Okay, so 50% of total will. For how cheap that is, that's great. Oh, it also prevents Nidhi sleeping and lagging. Uh, I'll buy a few of those. Uh, a few of those. It's a res. Multi coffee, good to get one of those. And I'll get a second. Uh, coffee chip. Brent's caffeinated status bar. Don't know uh, what that is. That now nah, that's a better surprise. Also, in terms of the Superman Dragon Ball thing, I think we just did Frieza, like, up to Golden Frieza Max. Uh, and also, there are so many fucking iterations of Superman. Like, to do an adequate, like, all Superman versus all interpretations of Goku, which, admittedly, there are far fewer Gokus than there are Supermen. Uh, oh, yeah. It takes, like, several hours to go through and, like, compare... Also, random side note, do you know what all the colors of Kryptonite does? The Superman? I, I know a pink one makes him gay, doesn't it? Yeah. Walked away from the airship. Do we want to leave the airship for next time, or do we want to check I it think out? we can get into the airship and then save. Oh, what the fuck? Wow, Ladius! <laughs> uh, uh, I think in your inventory there's, a, there's an instruction manual. Oh, this is another great song called "Look," called um, "Look, Ma, We Fly Now." Okay, why do both of these buttons make me go? 
that funky. Uh, all right. We in space. Oh, this is Final Fantasy. Oh yeah. Nice breeze. Up nice breeze up here. Uh. Okay, that, ma that, that makes me pilot again. Okay. No diddles, mom. The day you talked to, that was. Oh yeah, I think everyone on the ship is here somewhere. Oh, is there like a a lower floor? Yeah, there is. Oh, water cooler! Oh, oh! So we just need paper cups, and it's a single water cooler. Neat. I know we. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. We we'll need to disable Farblast Shield to proceed. This should be an external facility where the worm is housed. Uh, is that our power source? Okay. Also, if Hylids was in Smash, I think the airship would be their stage. Oh, totally. And like, it should, and it should be sort of like the one new Zelda stage where it just flies by lots of Hylix locations. Neat. Alright, I think that's good for now. We got three-fourths of the crew, Vuax, 